And welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. I'm Rebecca. Today continues my series about May flowers out of things you may already have around the house. And generally, I make up a lot of flowers and I'll make them while I'm watching TV or while I'm listening to a podcast, and then I just stash them away and then I have them to use. So the ones that I'm going to make today are really easy, super easy. Okay, so I'm just using acetate packaging. Uh, this one I think I got out of a stamp set that was a, a Crafter's Companion stamp set. But you get, you know, packaging on all sorts of things. I mean, like, here's a knife thing. It's got some packaging on it. Anytime that you have flat, clear packaging like this, it works out great. And then I just happen to use some double-sided adhesive sheets for this technique. But you could use any of the um, sort of adhesives if you want to use runners or something but I think it comes out really nice with adhesive sheets and that what I do is I save every little scrap like this was just a scrap from another project but then that way I can um, peel it off here and I just stick it on my piece of packaging and that way I don't lose it I have it on here and it's ready to go and um, so, you know, I have just all these pieces of acetate with uh, double-sided adhesive stuck to them. And then what I can do with that is I can either use um, punches, flower punches. You can use, if you've got, you know, dies and punch out, you know, I mean, cut out a uh, flower shape. Um, anything like that that you want. I'm going to go ahead and, and just use... A, uh, here, let me use it off of this one because it's older. Use this. Just punch out your flower shape. Okay. Put this aside here. And then uh, these are going to be sequin flowers. And they are really easy but very pretty. So um, now that we have a piece of acetate with the take the backing off of that Oops. okay and then I just pick out a, a sequin that I like let's do one for in the middle I like putting gold in the middle a lot of times so these are so easy now I'm not sponsored by or an affiliate of any of the products you see me use these are all just things I have in my stash so I start out with just putting a sequin right in the very middle and then I pick any color and you know a lot of us have all sorts of colors of sequins sitting around so I just use whatever sequin I have and you can make any size. I'll show you some different sizes here in a minute. Right now I'm just showing you the basic idea. And it's really simple. All I'm doing is sticking these sequins on here. And I do, since they overlap, I try to go around in only one direction. That way they overlap all the same. Oops. All the way around. Turn that over. I like to put the bumpy side down because then it has more to stick to it. I'm trying to do this really quick. You would normally of course take your time line things up really nice. But I'm going really fast here trying to get it so this isn't a real long video. Okay, once I put it on like that, I have to use a piece of paper just so I don't get the sequins, got hit my finger oil on them, and I just push it all down, make sure it's all pushed down really good to the adhesive, and then I pull out um, glitter. Don't we love glitter, right? And I take this, and because it's still got some edges around that have the adhesive on it, when you put it in here, it, that little fine glitter will get in there. Now I have, because I don't like getting glitter all over my desk, I go ahead and, whoops, oops, boy, dropping everything, aren't I? Okay, 
Let's try that again. I just take and I brush off the extra glitter. And what's nice about doing this on, and I brush off the front, the extra glitter off the front. What's nice about doing this on um, acetate is you don't really see it. You just see the shiny things. Okay. I'll put the lid on that so I don't spill it because that would be a mess, wouldn't it? Now, you can either leave it like this or I happen to have some of the gold uh, Nouveau Drop glitter. And I like having a bump in the middle of my flowers, you know, so what? Uh, I'll do is I'll just squeeze the bunch, squeeze a clump of this into the middle of my flower. And that gives it a little extra dimension. Okay, so when it dries, when it gets all dry, you'll end up with a flower like this. Okay, for this particular one. Let's look at some of my flowers. Let me move this wet one. Because now I got a noodle has to dry. Let's look at these for just a minute because I want to talk real quick and show you some ideas and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so one thing I like to do with them is they're great for tags. You can just make your tag, you know, your two from tag, but this is just, you know, green leaves that I stamped, but then by adding a flower it just adds that little extra something so when you have it hanging on the package it just looks really nice. The other thing is you can use, you know, like I said, all different sizes and shapes. And so, you know, here I used, for instance, this punch. And this is makes real nice, you know, if you, of course, do it in the red, greens, and golds, you can make some really pretty flowers for Christmas cards, things like that. Now, that one, I covered the petals with the sequins. But this one, you'll notice I just did like a pattern. Because what I do also then is I have this paper flower, and then I can just put this in the middle. And see how, you know, when I attach that, see how that will jazz that up? I haven't attached it yet, but do you see that will really, see how pretty that is? So you can make up all sorts of flower embellishments and not have to pay for them. And then, like, if you take a card, like I saved this card, I didn't finish it so that I could finish it with you. Um, it's just basically I took a white card base with a black mat on white embossed paper. This I just taped off, and I did ink blending for the blue, and then I stamped some green... Um, stems and leaves by masking out the flower tops and then I just used my uh, I just watercolored in on there and so now what I can do is I can just take some flowers that are already done here let me pull some flowers that are already done and I can just add them on hmm. Let's see what colors I want. Let's do a lighter one. Maybe here. Anyway, as you see, I just keep a stash of them, and then that way I can play with it a little bit. And then just attach that to the card. And I just am going to use some Zots to attach it on there. And all of a sudden, you have a very cheerful little card. And so that is pretty much my idea for what I like to do when I'm making up flowers out of uh, just packaging and leftover pieces of double-sided adhesive using sequins that I just have. And there you go. That's all there is to it. So I hope that you had, I hope this idea inspires you to go ahead and make up some flowers ahead of time to keep in your stash. There we go. And I have to brush off all that glitter that I had on my hands. So there we go. Okay. So happy paper crafting.